introductions over, on with the show! Hey guys, Medieval Fan for 7 here again, and um, yeah, I already started this recording just a minute ago, but then when I heard it back, the speaker's audio was way too loud compared to my uh, vocal audio, and you can hear a word I was saying, so yeah, I'm just trying again. And here I am with my first tutorial, well, sort of tutorial, um, yeah, on this little fix that I found for Medieval 2, uh, the PAL versions in particular, uh, I think a lot of people uh, know about this error when you play levels like Kensington and Greenwich, Greenwich uh, Naval Academy and Kew Gardens and Whitechapel. A lot of levels in Medieval 2 actually crash when you try loading them due to this copy protection thing. But Medieval 1 it's only the Hilltop Mausoleum that crashes when you load it, unless you're playing it straight off the disc with sub-channel enabled. But, um, if you're wanting to just play off an ISO file, there is a solution to the problem. But I'll show you what the actual problem is to start off with, in case you've not heard of this problem before. And yes, it's the Italian version I'm loading just now, but uh, this patch should work on any version of Medieval 2 that you have, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> because it works in any region. Region PAL1, PAL2, and... I, th I can't remember, actually. <laughs> I can't remember all the regions, but it does work on all the regions. Yeah, let's skip all this. And yeah, um, I already have a save file for Greenwich Observatory, and this is one of the levels that crashes when you load it. And here's just an example of that happening. <laughs> And there we go, the level's crashed. So here is the very quick and simple fix that I managed to figure out to, due to ages. I was actually looking for another problem solution, but then I stumbled across this one when I actually found this person had uploaded all different types of patches to games that have problems with loading their levels due to the copy protection. And I found it on MU Paradise. It's a website where quite a lot of people get their ISOs and their emulators. but. Yeah, I'll put the link to this patch down below, but if you want to know any more, I'll try to find them. And I might do a separate tutorial for Medieval 1, if I ever get around to it. But yeah, pretty much this little file here. Whoops. <laughs> I know it doesn't really matter, I'm just very... There we go, that's the name of the file. Medieval 2, PAL, M3, plus 2, plus NTCH, and in Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, and pretty much just all the versions. <laughs> now... Extract, yeah, just extract them here, and then just the folder that you have EPSXC in with all your other folders, such as your patches, plugins, and that. This pl pa eh, this patches folder, you gotta put these two files in here, and then that is literally your problem fixed just by doing that. And this patch actually has a little introduction when you load up the game, but it doesn't really bother me much because pretty much you could just skip it like as soon as it comes up so yeah here you can just skip it straight away we're going to just reload up the game again And I'm not playing off CD-ROM, I'm playing it off of an ISO right now. <laughs> and the better thing about playing it off an ISO is it tends to run more smoothly, whereas when you're playing it off a of CD-ROM it tends to freeze now and then when it's loading certain files and that. So, um, there we go, just reloading up uh, Greenwich Observatory. And there you have it. The Medieval 2 level crash... Uh, problem is now fixed due to that little patch. And yeah, the same goes for Medieval 1. There's a patch for Medieval 1 as well for fixing the glitch in the Hilltop Mausoleum, but um, hopefully I'll do that in a separate video. But yeah, thanks for watching this little tutorial, and I'm um, sorry that maybe my descriptions weren't that good, but if there's anything you didn't understand, just comment down below, because this wasn't really scripted or anything, so I wasn't really thinking about what I was saying, so um, yeah, hopefully this helped. I only just figured this out myself. Um, a couple of days ago, and if I had known that, if I had known this is all it would have taken to actually fix the problems with the PAL versions of uh, Medieval 2, I'd have probably done my Let's Plays just with the PAL version of the game, but 
yeah, my reasons for playing the US version of the game is because none of the levels crash, so... But it's actually the PAL versions I own, so... Yeah, enough of my rambling, that's pretty much the tutorial done, so... I will just see you all next time on my next video. Hopefully, um, I'm really hoping to get more Let's Plays done soon. I'm just really held back with so many things right now, but, um... Yeah, I am so sorry about that, but, um... Yeah, just take care, guys. I'll see you there.